everybody, Susan Leonard Kasmer here. I'm with Ice Resin and I want to show you some new ideas that I've been doing lately. Spring is coming and I have been pressing flowers, using grasses, leaves, um, using a lot of just different materials in my work like stones and objects from nature. So I wanted to show you guys how to incorporate this into your jewelry um, just to do some pretty cool projects. So here are the organics that I've been using with my ice resin. With ice resin, you can really incorporate anything you want to into your, into your ice resin and into your work. So I've been using flowers and leaves and sticks and feathers and grasses. And you can see in the work stones, uh, materials, fabric, just different ways that I can incorporate all of these materials into my work. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Hey, I want to show you a way to use flowers and foils in your work to preserve flowers. And um, this is with the industrial bezel, the rose gold. And I, there actually is a molding template that works right along, that matches exactly the um, industrial bezels. This one is the triangle that I poured. I just poured it super clear, but you can see I have a nice faceted side and it'll be able to be raised above the surface. So I, ahead of time, I, um, I actually cut out with my template, I cut out some foil. I decided to use the pink foil this time. People who know me know I like a lot of blue, but I think in this case, I really want to use a different color than I normally use. So I put a little bit of the sealer into the bottom. I really like using the sealer from ice resin. It dries so quickly. It dries much quicker than most. So um, you really want your, your sealant to be able to tack this foil down. And then I'll use the back of my paintbrush to um, just finish tacking my foil down. Get it in there nice and tight. This is just going to be a little short minute to dry. Um, I, I have a little bit of, of bumps in here, but I decided to use this flower. This one I pressed earlier, but I can, I'm, I'm just going to cut this a little short, so I didn't mind that there was a couple petals missing over here. And I'm going to cut these off. These will be good for another use, and I'll be able to fit this right in. So let me do that now. The dried flowers, you don't have to seal at all. So I really, I love that fit. You could put anything else in there that you wanted to. And um, this is gonna give me a nice seal. So I'm gonna just put a few, a little bit of the ice resin in the bottom. I already pre-mixed this for us. It has sat and settled and I, I'm in a 70 degree room. I don't have a lot of um, bubbles in my ice resin. I decided to use the, the um, 16 ounce kit with this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to press this in and you can see get this pressed in okay I'm going to get it right in here there we go now you're going to see I have a little bit of the resin that comes out the side I don't mind that because see this foggy look that I have now well I can decide if I want it to continue to keep this foggy, or I can take my resin that comes out along the side and I can just brush it right over the top of my piece and I'll end up really having a better visual. I'm gonna actually just take this right off the card and get in and, and brush the bottom and brush the sides and you can see the flower and it looks like a beautiful, beautiful match. So that's the way that I'm able to use foils, flowers in the mold. And you can see how gorgeous that is. It, it comes up over the side, um, the bezel, and really is like a jewel. So there you go.